The Jilin Chemical Explosion. November 13th, 2005. A date that proved to be disastrous for the people of Jilin, China. A major explosion in a petrochemical plant caused such a catastrophe that it took time for people to recover from its trauma. What really happened at the plant? What led to the incident? And how much destruction did it cause? Hey everyone and welcome to our channel. Press the subscribe and bell icon button to get the latest updates on our videos. In today's video, we are going to unveil all the details about the Jilin chemical explosion and all the major facts related to it. It was a series of explosions that ripped through state-owned China. On a particular cursed Sunday, explosions occurred in China's number 101 petrochemical plant in Jilin City. These sequences of powerful detonations lasted for an hour, which killed almost 60 people and ended up injuring 70 people. The results of the explosions were catastrophic. Now the question is, what could be the possible cause of such extreme explosion? As far as known, the cause of the explosion was initially determined two days after the blast. One of such reasons included the fact that the accident site was a nitration unit for aniline equipment. Another reason for this frightening blast was that the T-102 tower was jammed up and was not handled properly by the people and this further led to the blast. Sources concluded that the processing tower and the workers' botched attempt to clear it caused the explosions in northeast China's Jilin province. You could possibly speculate the intensity of the explosion by the fact that they shattered windows at least 100 to 200 meters away. After 24 hours, on November 14th, the fierce fires were extinguished, eventually. And the situation came back to control. Zhao Haifeng stated that to ensure utmost security and safety, all channels and equipment connecting to the plant have been shut down. When questioned further, the company gave no further explanation. According to Zhao Haifeng, who is the vice general manager of Jilin Petrochemical Company of CNPC, you must be quite shocked to know that the Jilin Petrochemical Company of CNPC is China's first large-scale chemical industry based as well as the largest national aniline base. Certainly, such horrifying incidents occurring in a major company are extremely shocking. It shows how one wrong move can cause extreme chaos. Zhao further stated that no toxic gas was detected in the affected district. Well, we do not know if this was true, but certainly the explosion seemed petrifying. More than 10,000 people have been evacuated from the area. These included local residents and students at the north campus of Beihua University and the Jiling Institute of Chemical Technology. Further, the CNPC, which owns the company in charge of the factory, Jiling Petrochemical Corporation, had asked the senior officials to investigate the cause of the incidents. Many people suspected this incident as a terrorist attack and further concluded that it would be something planned to destroy the plant. But after the investigation, it was concluded that the explosions were not thought to be related to terrorism. As per what the company told the press, the explosions were just the result of a chemical blockage that had gone unfixed. The evacuated people were further taken to the nearest hotel as the municipal government asked hotels and restaurants in the city to provide rooms for the evacuated people. This isn't all. Alongside, the taxi companies also aided in the evacuation. Even though it's been years, there's a definite fear that there could be further blasts and possible chemical contamination again. At the definite time, there was suspicion among people that the disaster had caused severe pollution. It further got confirmed when it became apparent that a large quantity, which was estimated to be around 100 tons of pollutants, of carcinogenic benzene and nitrobenzene had leaked into the Songhua River. The harm caused by this alarming incident is not at all limited. Further, it's known that exposure to benzene reduces red blood cell count and is linked to leukemia. Even if it seems similar to other chemical disasters, the after effects are definitely for long term. Somehow, some part of the current generation must be facing issues related to the occurrence of this disaster. The shocking part of the Jilin chemical explosion is an 80 kilometer long toxic slick that drifted down the Amur River. Some major efforts were made to mitigate this disastrous leak. Some of the hydroelectric dams upriver opened their sluices in an attempt to dilute the dangerous level of benzene, but they were already 108 times above national safety levels, which were life-threatening. This seemed extremely worrisome, and it was further speculated that this water pollution could potentially harm people's health and cause them some major problems. Moreover, it passed through several cities. The slick first passed through the Songhua River through several countries. Further, it then entered the province of Heilongjiang, 
with Harbin, which is the capital of Heilongjiang province and is one of China's largest cities. After traversing the eastern half of Heilongjiang, including the city of Jiamusi, the slick further merged into the Amur River. This isn't all. It slipped past into Russian region of Khabarovsk Krai in the Russian Far East. Moreover, it passed through the cities of Khabarovsk and Komsomolsk on Amur. Certainly such occurrences of water pollution can cause a wide variety of threats to the common people along with marine life. To avoid this, the government took action and on November 13th, a water plant in the Jilin city was closed. This led to the process that several hydropower stations in the upper reach of Songhua River began to increase their discharge flow. Moving on further on November 14th, the people of Jilin origin stopped using water from Songhua River to prevent any further mishap. By November 18th, all the water supplies in Songwan were partially suspended. By all means, this was one of the immediate and noteworthy actions the government took. China's 10th largest city was particularly majorly hit by this unfavorable incident. Harbin, which is in adjacent Heilongjiang province and located on the banks of the Songhua River downstream of Jilin, had to cut public water supplies for more than three days. Being one of the largest cities and serving more than 10 million residents, Songhua River served as a major water supply and cutting it off seemed terrific. Many residents of Harbin asked the government to dismiss the idea of cutting off the water supply. This isn't all. Residents of Harbin had complained that water in some parts of the city had been shut off much earlier than announced. The city asked the residents to shut down all the car washes and bathhouses. Whenever any such terrible incidents occur, rumors become a major part of it. At the same time as the major incident, many rumors ran wild, one of which was about the possible cause of its shutoff. With the occurrence of such a horrific incident, some people suggested that an earthquake was imminent, and many people stated that terrorists had poisoned the city's water supply. The incident isn't all. The after effects of this incident are pretty much to look through. The news of the shutoff caused major chaos among people. People panicked to buy water, beverages, and foodstuffs from the city supermarkets. Also, the tickets for flights quickly sold out and people became extremely scared regarding the fact that something more terrific might happen. But somehow, with impressive efficiency, to provide aid to the people, 100 new artisan wells were drilled to provide Harbin with uncontaminated groundwater and ease the supply shortage. Even though this didn't resolve the issue, the benzene continued to cause problems as it went on to enter the Russian Far East en route for the Strait of Tartary and the Pacific Ocean. After exiting the Amur River, these harmful contaminants entered the Sea of Otkhotsk and the Sea of Japan, which have Japan, Korea, and Far East Russia on its littorals. The sources concluded the fact that the initial reaction of Jilin Petrochemicals Management didn't seem much desirable. This is because the management denied the fact that pollutants had entered the Songhua River. They decided to own up only after and when it became obvious that a serious benzene slick was headed for Harbin. By all means, the Chinese press was critical of the authorities' response to the disaster. Certainly with everything happening at once, the Jilin chemical explosion is one of the major ones to look at. From this terrifying incident, one thing is clear. When handling such hazardous materials, if proper safety regulations and standards are not maintained, it can really prove to be fatal. This incident shows how dangerous it is and how companies should emphasize taking necessary actions to prevent such dreadful incidents from happening to them, ever. What else do you know about this incident? Do such incidents scare you? Do let us know in the comment section below. And this brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, then please like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button to get regular updates. And we'll see you in the next one.